Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, Tioga, Tioga, Pennsylvania, here at the uh, Pennsylvania Welcome Center, just right across the New York state line. Uh, we're actually headed down to Florida. I'm taking Annabelle uh, on a little trip to Florida uh, because this is her final year. Her gr she is graduating from high school and uh, this fall she is beginning, uh, beginning college, which is insane. And so I figured uh, we'd go do a little, little road trip down to Florida and enjoy uh, the beach, the water for a couple of days. Um, I was actually supposed to uh to get my car back today believe it or not my car was supposed to be ready or at least theoretically my car was supposed to be ready um, i called to confirm yesterday the the geico insurance adjuster had told me your car will be ready on the 7th you can turn in your rental car and you can get your car i called the auto body shop to confirm and they said no, 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 it's gonna be a couple, it's gonna be a couple more weeks, they told me. So that's a big question mark up in the air, but uh, so it just, it continues on. I still have the rental car. I've had the rental car since January, or at least I've had some form of rental car since, uh, since January. But uh, so now, yeah, we're heading down to Florida. Stopped off here at this uh, beautiful welcome center here in Pennsylvania. I've been trying to, uh, trying to, uh, show off some of the wonderful welcome centers that states have. Some states put a lot of effort into their welcome centers. Other states choose not to. They choose to use their, their highway funds for, for other other things. So uh, also Jen's here. Jen, what are you doing over there? Hi. So uh, we're rolling, are you excited about going down to Florida? I am. It's my second time. Second time to Florida. We went, mm -hmm. we went last year. We did some, uh, some Disney stuff and uh had a lot of fun but this time for some uh, the main goal is to is to relax yeah something i'm not really good at but we're gonna um <laughs> not we're, at all. we're gonna stay at, at, a, at a on the beach uh we're gonna try to relax we're gonna try to figure out what you do at the beach does this welcome center have orange juice no no yeah the florida <laughs> welcome center florida welcome center gives you orange juice when you enter um i guess we'll have to go inside to see what they give you at the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Welcome Center, juice. it's not orange juice. Follow <laughs> us. <laughs> oh boy, look at this. It really does have money. So on the way here, last year a Jen stopped here on, around Christmas time. I wasn't with her, and the elk was dressed up for Christmas. He had a Santa's hat on. And uh, she was saying, Jen was saying, I hope, I hope the elk. I hope the elk has, I actually said deer. And you're like, it's an elk, Jen? She said, it's an elk. But she said, I hope the deer has uh, bunny ears on. I said, well, Jen, it's an elk. And, but it does, it does. It, uh, so this elk definitely, uh, he dresses up for the seasons. So you can swing by the Tioga Pennsylvania Welcome Center and say hello to the elk. Jen's really excited about something here. What's, go what's going on? Name the elk? Oh, okay. Help us name Larry. PA's wild elk. The frontline greener has been on duty for nearly 18 years. 18 years greeting people to Pennsylvania, and he doesn't have a name yet. Larry. His uh, name could be Clarion, Benny from Benazet, Larry, or Ty for Tioga. And you're saying you think... Uh, Larry. Well, well there's, a, there's a ballot right there. You want to fill out... Uh, Fill out the ballot. Oh, that, oh. that one's already filled out. You got to get. We get a clean one. Okay, so it's like multiple choice. Yeah, you need one too. Here you All go. All right, I'll, I'll take one. And. Uh, Larry. Oh no! Your pen's not working. There we go. So Jen's voting Larry. for. Can I use all of them? For one? Larry. Larry. It'll be interesting. We'll have to come back here and see. Um, yeah. See who what wins. Are you gonna vote for? Um, I haven't decided yet. Oh. Do you want me to, you, you want me to vote for Larry? I mean, you don't have to if you really like one of the other. If ones. you really like Larry, I'll vote. I'll okay. vote for Larry. I think you like Larry. Larry's, Larry's, Larry's pretty good. good. Let me see. <laughs> Clarion. I don't really understand Clarion, Benny, or Ty. If Benny or Ty's okay, but yeah, Larry. Larry seems like a. I think he seems like a Larry. 
does he seem like a Larry? Leave a comment in the comments section. Which, which name would you pick for the elk? And there is, unfortunately, there is no write-in, or I would, or I'd vote for carpet elk. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think we'll go for Larry. All right, nameless elk. Perhaps someday, you shall be Larry. Larry in my heart. You can see, uh, see here. He's like, he's like mounted, kind of like an elk that would be on the wall, but. Uh, he has this area exposed, so kind of an interesting way to display an elk. And uh, yeah, definitely we'll come back and see what uh, what name gets picked for the greeting elk. I definitely love the spirit of uh, dressing the elk up for the different holidays. And here behind the elk, we have the business center and video viewing area. Here over at the business center, have a display on Pennsylvania wineries. All these brochures here amongst the wine bottles to visit the wineries here in the uh, Pennsylvania area. Over here we have a little mini Pennsylvania museum. On top you have the Eastern Coyote. That's a black bear. That's a really tiny baby black bear there. And look at... Look at the beaver up there. A box of Pennsylvania skulls here. You can see the Pennsylvania black bear, the Pennsylvania bobcat, the Pennsylvania mouse with a very tiny skull there. And here, in this case, we have all these different products originating from, uh, from Pennsylvania. Of course, the Heinz Corporation, based out of Pittsburgh. Here is uh, what? Cutstown root beer. I've not heard of that. Uh, some fishing lures in here. Do they make fishing lures in uh, in Pennsylvania? Of course, the Utz potato chips. You know, they make they actually make a lot of snacks in uh, in the state of Pennsylvania. I think that little girl's little Utz mascot there. Oh yeah, then we got a Hershey's Kiss, Hershey's chocolate, the Hershey's company based out of Hershey, Pennsylvania. Here is Pennsylvania Black Diamonds, AKA Anthracite Coal, Lackawanna County. I know there is a, a, a Anthracite Coal Museum somewhere in Pennsylvania. Oh, there's the, the neighborhood trolley to represent Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers from Pennsylvania, the uh, Crayola factory in Pennsylvania as well. They do have a uh, Crayola attraction, but I've not actually ever been to the Creole attraction in uh, in Pennsylvania, I think it's in Allentown. And it, the Slinky is the Slinky is the Slinky from Pennsylvania. That's that's a new one to me. I just learned something today. Yeah, as I mentioned, a lot of uh, a lot of snacks come from uh, from Pennsylvania. Milky Way, Musket, Three Musketeers, there. Oh, there's Chef Chef Boyardee. Is he? I, is, I thought that, I thought there's a statue of Chef Boyardee in Nebraska, but um, apparently there's a connection to Pennsylvania as well, as well as the worst cola ever made, Moxie. Oh wow, as well, I know, I know they make peeps here. That's right, I knew that, they make peeps. So, so much, so much yummy stuff comes out of uh, Pennsylvania. A sign here says, do not touch the bald eagle. I guess that is a, Female bald eagle? No, it's an immature bald eagle. An like immature, five years oh, an immature bald eagle. Okay, so he's just yeah. not uh, grown his uh, yep. baldness yet. Just hasn't, hasn't, hasn't changed his and some coal mining tools over there. The pick, the helmet, the donkey there. And look at that, uh, that giant, giant hunk of coal right there. Oh, here's a little display on elks. In uh, Pennsylvania, of course, we saw the the elk head there in the front. Up on top there, we got a turkey, and a wild bobcat of some sort. And then there is a Smokey the Bear. I think actually you know, there is some um, discussion over what his his real name is. A lot of people say his name is not Smokey the Bear. His name is Smokey Bear, as in Bear being his last name. But then there's actually he has a theme song. And the theme song says Smokey the Bear. So uh, it's really, I think, up for 
personal interpretation. An advertisement for the World Little League Museum, which is nearby. And uh, there's a display case here for some of the uh, local sports teams. What is that right there? Like some sort of crazed blue bear of some sort? It's the, uh, I guess the Williamsport Crosscutters is, uh, is the Little League team here. And uh, I guess this is their mascot, Lyco, Lyco the Lumberjack, a very Bunyan-esque lumberjack. And there is a lookout here in the back. We can uh, peek out into the uh, into Pennsylvania. Here from the lookout. Oh, okay. You can see the river running there. It looks like there's some sort of uh, maybe dam or levee over that way. Where are the elk? I, I don't see any elk. Was it? Old neighborhood, uh, old neighborhood down there. Huh, beautiful Pennsylvania. All right, Jen, so how do you think this Welcome Center adds up to other Welcome Centers that you've been to? Um, I was gonna say this is the fanciest Welcome Center I've been to, but I guess the Florida one was fancier because Florida? they have Captain Citrus. Florida has Captain Citrus. It has free orange juice. Florida is the one to beat. I do. I would say this is one, probably one of the better ones. Though. I really like Larry. Well, his name's not Larry yet. We'll have to. We'll have to find out. I'll definitely update Everyone the. Everyone go vote Larry. I'll definitely. Can you vote online? Hashtag Larry. No, they have to come here. <laughs> so you're asking everyone out there to come to the uh, Pennsylvania Welcome Center and vote it's for him. Larry the Elk. It's on Route 15. <laughs> Route 15, Tioga, Pennsylvania. Yeah. But yeah, this is. I think. I feel like this is like a top tier. Welcome Center, they got the little museum, they got the special elk to greet you. Yeah, a lot of yeah, fun. No, lot, I like it a lot. A lot of fun here. This is probably one of my favorite Welcome Centers in the country, I'd say. It was only, I think Florida probably only, would be the only one that would uh, that would uh, beat this out as far as, I think so. I can't, I can't think of any of the others that would, uh, that would beat that. Next but time it, Larry's gonna be a superhero like Captain Citrus. Is he? Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, we gotta get, we gotta get on that road. Uh, time's, time's slipping away. <laughs> Now I've driven by here quite a few times on the way uh, down from New York and uh, never had a chance to stop. It's always been closed when I went by. So I guess we're gonna check out uh, Clyde Peeling's Reptile Land today. And uh, I'm not really sure who Clyde Peeling is. If anyone knows who Clyde Peeling is, leave a comment in the comment section. And I get, I'm not sure how this place is pronounced. I was calling it Reptile Land, but I noticed it, it's one word there's uh, there's no E in it, there's only one L. So is it Reptile Land? Is it Reptile Land? Or Reptile Land? How do, you, how do you guys feel it is, uh, it is pronounced? Leave a comment in the comment section. All right, back out into the zoo area. All right, this is the exhibit gallery here. It says, follow me to dinosaurs. That's promising. Oh, these aren't dinosaurs, but we have some big old gators there. Look at that big gator. And here we have an albino American alligator. And check out that guy. That is a beautiful gator there. Of course, all the gators in here are a little a little sleepy today, but I think gators spend a lot of their time just just relaxing. That is a, that is a beautiful alligator. Yeah, you can see that big guy relaxing on the beach there. And then, uh, other side of the wall, we have the albino gator. Oh, I just noticed this alligator. He's giving me the stink eye. Notice he's got uh, got his eye open there. The big guy looks like he's sleeping. The smaller guy there is peeking at me. All right, got some smaller 
animals in here, some smaller reptiles. Oh, look at this. Look at that big snapping turtle right there. You can see, look at that, he's got like seaweed growing on his back. You wouldn't want him to snap your nose. He wouldn't snap my nose though, would you? Oh, he might. <laughs> he said yes. He said, oh, now he oh, says no. No, I would never snap a nose. It's against the turtle code. Hey there. Oh, look at his eyes. Hi, buddy. Where are his eyes? That teeny little eyes there by his nose? Like that little thing? Yeah. Those are his eyes? Oh, yeah, I just saw him moving. Oh. Usually they're not very active. He's doing a little, he's going for a little swim. Oh, he's, oh, he's coming little. up for air. Yeah, he's got like uh, <laughs> little plants on him. Oh, he's gonna come oh, up. Goodness. He's gonna come up and get a little breath. Hi, buddy. A little breath. A little breath of fresh air. <laughs> I wanna boop his nose. You do not wanna boop his nose. <laughs> I, mean, I want to. He could take your hand off. But I wanna boop him. You wanna boop him? Yeah. Well, there's a land turtle right there, or tortoise rather. I like his shell. I like the uh, very decorative shell that he got there. Hi! Wow, these animals are so active today. Usually I go to the zoo and they just like hide. Yeah, they're Hi, turtles, buddy. so they're normally not very You're active. They're really fast. He is a fast turtle. He could Hi. probably. I bet he You're could. Really cute. I bet he could outrun a uh, uh, a hare. <laughs> Look at that one sleeping. His little head's moving as he breathes. Hey, little guy. Look at these two. They're super. They're super long necks. Oh my gosh. What are they doing? <laughs> swimming with her really long necks they look like they got like snake heads what are they i don't know what does it say oh, a are... snake headed turtle so, look at you you are yeah, wise literally called a snake necked <laughs> turtle there hey snakey the snake neck there's a third one down there i think you named it okay this is going to be a quiz for jen see oh, if she's no. learned what i Look at this okay. animal here. Is this an alligator or is this a crocodile, Jen? Let's take a look at it. Well, we just saw an alligator and they have like the rounded yeah, nose. Yeah, yeah. And so alligators have like a longer nose and an overbite. Yeah, and what's this and guy? So that one has a longer nose and an overbite, so it must be an alligator. That's actually oh, no. a crocodile. What? <laughs> it's a salt water crocodile. What? I did not do a good job. See, he's got kind of a longer, needly, pointy nose. I thought the nose. longer, needly one was a ale no, a crocodile. I'm so confused. I need to read. Yeah, we've been working. We've been working on this. <laughs> Trying to teach Jen the difference between alligators and crocodiles. She's slow. She's getting better. I'm not. <laughs> I didn't do very well. Well, you know. He's a... Uh, that's kind of a trick question. He, he looks a little alligatory. He is a crocodile, but... Looks a little alligatory. Oh. Let's try this again. Okay. okay alligator or crocodile. So look at this. See, look. See, I said the rounded. Okay, nose. so which one of you guessing is the alligator? And, and which... then this one's the pointy one with the overbite. So what and is that it? That one had a pointy overbite. So you can lift the skulls for the answer. What do you what's your final answer? Oh. This one is pointy with overbite, so it's oh wait, that's crocodile. It's a American crocodile. Yeah, and this one's Swoopy with no overbite, so it's an alligator. Actually, the alligators do have the overbite. Oh my goodness. So the alligators have the overbite, but their noses are they have wider, no, wider, broader noses. But look, this one has more teeth. Well, that's not, that's fine. He has more teeth, and he is the, uh, the crocodile. I'm failing. I'm not doing well. You'll learn, you'll get it, you'll get it. Just keep trying. This is a rhinoceros. Iguana. You can see this. Okay, so like the uh, zookeeper there, when you, oh. giving him some, oh, giving him some so snuggles. Happy. He was just stepping on the other one. Oh, she There's got all me. these turtles. Oh, I didn't even. I didn't even see over. that. They got the. Uh, oh, they got a whole. He's hanging out in here with a whole bunch of tortoises. 
But look at him, he's 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 hungry. <gasps> Did you see his little tongue? Oh yeah, he's Is like he picking eating? he's picking up little things this time. He's adorable. He's really he's cute. like a little puppy and I wanna take him home. Can we get one? I don't know. Oh. He's a rhinoceros iguana. And he's hanging out. He's yeah. hanging out with his turtle bros here. They're gonna, oh no! Oh, is he gonna eat? No, he's just gonna walk. He's just gonna. Everyone. Oh, that's kind of. Okay. That's kind of. <laughs> that's kind of rude to just like walk over everyone's heads while they're eating. He wanted a carrot. He's standing on their heads. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's munching on a little carrot there. So yeah, you got the the iguana over here. You got the big <gasps> tortoises. <gasps> And there's all these little tiny tortoises <laughs> in here as well. Them. Are they babies? Little baby tortoises. Well, I don't know if they're babies or just small ones. Oh. Okay, what, what, <laughs> is this here, is this a uh, crocodile or an alligator? Um, crocodile. No, I, it's a trick question. Oh. This is, actually a giant snake. Oh, oh, okay. Do you like giant snakes? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't mind them. You wouldn't mind to hang out with him? No, I didn't walk up and go, oh, but I mean, he's still cool. Here you can build your own gecko. Let's see here. All right, step one, choose an eye. Uh, let's go with this big eye here. Do we want elongated toes or sticky toe pads? Sticky toe pads. Sticky toe pads, okay. Uh, choose a tail. There's only one choice. Skin. Uh, let me the bright green skin there. Oh, and there's our, there's our gecko. Oh, we made a giant day gecko. Hey there, you're a cute little one. You have bright little colors on you. You like just hanging out on that stick all day? There's little African dart frogs in here. It's one of the most poisonous animals in the uh, world. They call them the dark poison dart frogs because uh, people would actually use them to make poison for their arrows. So, so no cuddling? You don't know. You can't touch these guys. They're super poison. You can see they have just amazing color to them. One of the most colorful and most poison animals around. Here is the cottonmouth. Another very poisonous snake. I love how they have the display set up here like an old shed. See the lantern there with the Spanish moss. Just a couple of just a couple of poison cottonmouths hanging around waiting to uh waiting to bite you if you come looking around the shed. It's a diamondback rattlesnake there. He's super poison. There's a teeny tiny sidewinder rattlesnake down there. It's all coiled up, sitting under his aloe plant. Here's just some poisonous buddies hanging out. You can see there's a rattlesnake there, a timber rattler. That's actually what we have uh, by where I live in North Carolina. Wait, Jacob, you have, there's poison. Yeah, we have a couple, well, we just have the one poison snake, the timber rattler, I think is the main is the main one. Have you ever seen one? No, I've never been bit by a poisonous snake. Well, have you ever seen one? I don't never seen a rattlesnake. Well, maybe, I, actually maybe I did once, I think. What? It's okay, just leave them alone. Like in the yard? No, probably not. It's a cool display in here. You have the reticulated python here in his own little, own little temple. It's like a temple of doom, almost. <laughs> And there's our buddy, the axolotl. I think the axolotl is an animal that has become like way more famous in recent time. You can see the salamander there with with some uh, some uh, external gills there. Very very cool animal. Oh, you can see see it breathe using its gills. If you answer these questions, you can be a lizard wizard. What is the largest lizard? I'm gonna say Komodo dragon. Yes! Yay! I was, I'm officially a lizard wizard. 
There's a Pac-Man frog there. They're known for eating almost anything. I think they'll actually, they'll actually eat birds. They're having a show here momentarily. I figured we'd uh, stop by and check it out. You think that's a crocodile? I think so. It's pointy. She said a V and then a oh, U. We'll see, we'll see. So I would like you to raise your hand if you think he has a wider snout and he looks like an alligator. I think it's an alligator. You think it's a crocodile? It's pretty tough because he's a baby and he still has like a lot of growing to do, but he's actually a juvenile American alligator. <laughs> That's my mad face. <laughs> I fail. I, I'll never know. <laughs> pretty calm. This is Boris. He is a really grippy snake and he loves to hug us, but he is not trying to kill me to eat me right now. All right, heading into Parakeet Landing. I think there's some birds in this tent. Oh no. It says, watch your step here. Or you might Ooh. step on a little no. bird. Watch your. You don't want to traumatize. <laughs> you don't want to step on a parakeet. No. Jeff. All right. So, so we'll watch our feet. And okay, we go through the curtain of chains here. All right, we got a uh, feed stick here for three dollars in order to uh, try to feed the parakeets in here. Let's see if any of them are interested. Hey, parakeets! Any of you guys like bird food? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. He's nibbling. Bird. Nibbling some bird seed there. Bird. Why doesn't anyone like Michael? Here you go. Bird. I don't like Michael. You see? You want to borrow my bird? Aww. There we go. We can share this one bird. <laughs> Hi, little bird. This bird gets too sick. Is that yummy bird seed there, Mr. Bird? It's okay, maybe I'll So yours is the standing stick and mine is the eating stick. Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, there, there, you got your, you got your own bird there. He scared you. Hi, little bird. You can't be scared, okay? You can jump. It's not going to land, right? I got a bird. How's your bird doing? He's fine. Do you like the food? I'm scared it's going to bite you. You're scared it's going to bite you? It's just a little bird. With a little beak. It's got a little beak. What's your bird's name? Um, <laughs> Bluey. Bluey? Mine's name is Larry Bird. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Now I got two birds. You okay? I was sad that your my bird went away. I don't know. Was almost attacked by a bird. Oh no, they're fighting. <laughs> oh no, he's on my hand. There you go. You got a new bird. What's this bird's name? Um, Larry Bird too. Birdadette. <laughs> One bird here is migrating, migrating up my arm. Oh there you go. Oh there he goes back to the back to the stick. See, they're fighting. They can't get along. They're fighting. That bird just circled that boy time. Hey, bird. Hey, no fighting. No fighting. Oh. Oh, goodbye, bird. I guess you won. Victorious. Flawless victory. Hey there. <laughs> You're making a mess, spitting out all the seeds. Oh, another bird. He came back. Oh, and he okay. He ran off the other bird. Yeah, he won. Sure. 
Yeah, look at this bush here. It's entirely, entirely filled with parakeets. All right, all right. And make sure you don't have any birds on you. No, I don't. I think I'm good. Good, good. Do I have any birds on me? Bird damaged me. <laughs> the bird, your little bird bite? Yeah. It bit you? I mean, it like went. It scratched you or poked you with its beak? All right, do I have any? I think you're okay. I'm worried there's like a bird clinging to my back. <laughs> my back bird I freak. was afraid a bird was gonna poop on me, so at least I just have like a little <laughs> blood. So it actually bit you? It like hit me with its beak. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's a mean little, mean little bird. <laughs> and into island giants in here. Let's see what sort of giants are in here. Oh, look at that. Look at what we have here. The Komodo dragon, the largest lizard in the world. You can see he murdered a cow <laughs> right there. There's the dead cow We're carcass. The lizard I'm the lizard wizard. And over here we got some uh, giant tortoises. Hey guys. Hey big tortoises. How are you? Hi guys. Look at this, <laughs> look at this guy peeking up right here. <laughs> oh, he just ducked down. Excuse me. Aww. Hey there, Mr. Tortoise. Hi buddy. Hey. This guy back here is coming to coming to join his friends. <laughs> oh, you can make it, buddy. Oh, Keep going. Keep going. What would a reptile land be without dinosaurs? Dinosaurs come to life. And look at this. Giant animatronic triceratops there. Hey buddy, how are you doing? Oh, look, he just blinked his blinked his eye. Oh, what's he doing? He's sleeping. Just, just fell asleep standing up. It's okay. Then a Parasilophorus right over here. And over here we got a Ankylosaurus. Yeah, you can see him. He's talking a little bit, and he's got his uh, his tail wagging. His wagging tail back there. He wags his tail when he's happy. Here we got a Dilophosaurus. You have the no frills version, the non uh, Jurassic Park version. Oh, look at him wiggle his arms, wiggle his arms as he tries to rip our faces off. No? Oh, there he goes. He's doing his little, little head shake and hand, hand dance. Then back here we have a Triceratops skeleton just hanging out here without any skin and muscles on. Dating fossils here. We have a real dinosaur fossil that we can feel. Feels prehistoric. A couple of stegosauruses there, a little baby stegosaurus, and the um, the mother stegosaurus dutifully watching. Oh, they do growl a little bit. Oh, there it goes. The mama stegosaurus started moving there. I wasn't sure if uh, if she moved or not. Oh, there she goes. Yes. And check out these animatronics over here. Got some uh, real life dinosaurs. Hey there. Hey there, buddy. Some emus over here, which is. Love you love emus? Yeah, look how cute and dopey they are. <laughs> of course, emus, kind of the uh, descendants of real dinosaurs, probably the closest thing we have to uh, dinosaurs. In, uh, in our modern times. I don't know if emus like being petted or not. No, I'm afraid to pet What's them. he doing? Uh, eating dirt. Does they like to eat dirt? I guess so, maybe a bug. Hey, what are you? <laughs> Look at his little head rise, oh. Uh, oh, where'd he go? He's trying to break free. Is he trying to break through the fence? You can do it. Well, here we have a dino 
photo op here with the Parasaurolophilus. Oh, ouch. <laughs> it's not a very, oh, okay. He needs, he needs a saddle. He's not, he's not, very, it's not a very comfortable place to, to uh, rest your end quarters. <laughs> anyway, woohoo! I'm riding a dinosaur. Let's go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go fight a T-Rex together. Then we'll go on adventures. Just Jacob and his dinosaur. <laughs> no one else. Oh. You can come to Jacob. Oh, okay. You hear that noise that Brachiosaurus is making? Is it purring? Oh, now it's oink. It sounds like a pig. Oh, I really like this over here. This is an Ovaraptor. And the little, little uh, babies coming out of the eggs. Now the funny story about the Ovaraptor, it was named Ovaraptor because they thought it stole eggs. It started robbed eggs because it was, the fossil was found next to some eggs. But it turned out the eggs that it was allegedly stealing were its own eggs, its own babies. So it's uh, really gotten a bad rap being accused of stealing eggs when they're really just being a great parent. It says here, could Jurassic Park really happen? It's unlikely. Have a Pachya Cephalosaurus there. They got the hard head. Oh, he jump scared me. I didn't know he was gonna move. <laughs> See, some of them don't move, some of them do. Oh, I like his little, like his little dance there. He needs a little top hat and cane. Yeah, start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. <laughs> there he goes. All right, we got our T-Rex here. Is the T-Rex gonna move? Is this just a... Yo, jeez, there he goes, okay. I was wondering. Oh, I knew you were gonna move. Oh, the mightiest dinosaur of all is gonna, gonna move. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. Look at him <laughs> pumping his little arms there. Oh, ready to go. He means business. Oh, and look what we have over here. This is their Velociraptor. It's the, the more modern feathered version. See him wiggling his, his feathers. I really find that frightening. You think that's scary? Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty terrifying. Actually, yeah, I think that's no, almost... It really is. That's, that's almost scarier than the ones in Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yes, I am, it says. Oh. He's done now. Then here's some cola, cola feces. It, they look a little more like the Velociraptors looked in, uh, in the Jurassic Park movie. But uh, yeah, these guys, I guess these guys don't, aren't, as, uh, aren't as feathery. Clyde Peeling's Reptile Land, or Reptiland. I never found out what the correct pronunciation was. But uh, a wonderful, a wonderful uh, attraction here, and uh, definitely worth a stop if you're passing by. Stopped off here for some dinner at Skeeter's Barbecue actually have a wonderful view here from the barbecue place. You can see the river out there, the bridge, and um, yeah, we'll give this a try. I'm uh, not very experienced in Pennsylvania barbecue, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how good it is. Oh, look at that. It's a pig sticking its tongue out. <laughs> Yeah. Check out the menu here. You have chicken, pork, or beef. And I don't know. I don't know what type of barbecue it is. I don't know. Uh, usually, if it's you know more Texas barbecue, I'll go with the beef. If it's more uh, Southern style, I'll go with the pork. So yeah, flying blind here. We'll uh, pick something. Our table here's got a nice view as well. These big windows here, you can look out over the river while you eat. I see some people there unloading some uh, very large rowboats to go rowing in the river. 
Then above the dining room, they actually have some of these big uh, rowing boats as well. Okay, so I ordered the uh, beef and pork because I couldn't decide. Got the pulled pork there with some sauce already on it. And then uh, some brisket there. And they actually gave me a side of horseradish with, uh, with the brisket. Then Jen got some uh, smoked smoked wings there. I'm already eating the coleslaw. Is that good coleslaw? It is. I'm gonna try a little bit of this brisket here. I'll dunk it in the horseradish. I've never had brisket with horseradish, honestly. Usually that's for prime rib or roast beef, but. Oh, that's pretty good there. We'll try some of the, the pulled pork as well. Mm. It's interesting too, also the brisket and the pulled pork both served on pieces of toast, almost like an open face sandwich. All right, and with a belly full of Pennsylvania barbecue, we gotta get back on that long, lonesome road. A restaurant here alongside the highway called Lumberjack's Kitchen, but uh, out front they do not have a Lumberjack Jack. They do not have a giant Paul Bunyan character. But they do have this super cool fiberglass dragon. I guess uh, don't really know what the dragon connects to, but I guess you don't really need an excuse to just have a big, awesome dragon. I love the serpent shape to him, almost like a sea serpent-like dragon here. A closer look at his, uh, at his eyes there. It looks like in his nose hole, there may have been a light bulb at one point, so maybe he used to like his nostrils would grow with flames. And yeah, that's a really, really cool dragon here. Just a few miles down the road, we found this Cove Barn Antique Mall. And look at this! Out front, we have a, uh, a vicious velociraptor. Oh, and unfortunately, it's not for sale. I could definitely, I could, I could definitely find it a good home. I want it on our front lawn. Oh man, that would look nice. That would look nice on our front lawn. Oh man, I wish, yeah, I wish we could. I wish I could, I wish I could purchase this. Nice solid fiberglass uh, velociraptor there. And I don't know what it is about this part of Pennsylvania and, uh, inexplicable dragons. Look at this guy over here. Again, we're just a few miles down the road from the last dragon, and then you have this uh, big, mighty figure here. Oh, look at him. That is an awesome, awesome dragon there. With the uh, purple and uh, green colors, reminds me of uh, Elliot from, uh, from Pete's Dragon. Although, look at these. He does have these massive claws down here. Yeah, I'm really curious now what's with the uh, dragons of Pennsylvania along the road here. And then just down next door to this barn with the dragon in front, we have some more uh, more items for sale here. Quality furniture. Do you see they do have a nice, a nice fiberglass horse here. A whole collection of uh, Virgin Marys there. And then, I don't know if this is for sale or not, or if it just belongs to the owner of the antique shop, but that's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little uh, golf cart there. Look at that bear head there coming out of the side of the building. Yeah, this is Farmer Boy Gifts and Furniture here. And look at these, look at these uh, space aliens here. 209, not a bad price for a for a uh, concrete alien to it's stand R2. against. Oh, there's a little R2, little R2D2 oh, there. And Grogu. Do they have some Grogu's? Yeah. Oh, look at this one. I like the stone ones. Oh, so they have Grogu's. And a Yoda. They have Yoda. <gasps> Yoda's only 140. <laughs> then, oh, there's, even a little, there's a tiny Darth Vader right there. We're heading to your house that is now going to be our house. And look, it's a Yoda. <laughs> I wish they were Unfortunately, open. yeah, they're not open. I know. We have to come back here. How much for a Sasquatch? 
That Sasquatch there. Let's see the price on the. He's four seventy seven. For uh, for a sat, I do. I always wanted a Sasquatch in uh, in my yard. I have a tiny guy. Yeah, you get a little mini Sasquatch. That one is uh, two sixteen. This is even getting smaller. It's a tiny one here for one sixty three. So yeah, you can just kind of pick what size of uh, Sasquatch you want. I like these down here. Got these Easter Island heads. Some wonderful Easter Island heads here, and uh, I really love these. These tiki, tiki heads here. Definitely, yeah, yeah, I definitely get to thinking because I'm gonna be moving back to my home in North Carolina. I'm gonna be able to uh, to decorate it. That'd be cool near the hot tub. The hot tub, you get tiki, yeah, you get tiki hot tub. Tiki's next to the yeah. hot tub. <laughs> so yeah, I have the freedom to de decorate and uh, yeah, be fun. Maybe maybe adding some statues to the yard. Oh, here's the gnome section here. Look at these! I like this the gnome with the giant, uh, <laughs> giant goldfish, the goldfish there. That's that's pretty fun. Some gargoyles down here. It'd be nice to add some, uh, some epic gargoyles to the yard at some point. And we have landed in Staunton, Virginia. We have passed into Maryland as we're leaving Pennsylvania, passed through Maryland, through West Virginia, and then in to regular Virginia. And uh, that's, you know, with, with uh, Maryland, with West Virginia, they have uh, such strange convoluted borders. You end up like passing through them just briefly. So it was like, bam, Maryland, bam, West, uh, West Virginia, bam, regular Virginia. Yeah, sometimes with the, with, the, with the crazy borders of West Virginia and Maryland, sometimes you end up passing through them when you aren't even expecting it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've, we've settled in for the night. I'm gonna get up early and uh, head out tomorrow morning. Goal is to make it back to, uh, to North Carolina. And then uh, from there, going to head down to um, to Florida. We're gonna have a little beach trip with uh, with Annabelle. She's be coming down with us. So I probably will be uh, be turning the camera off for a few days while I'm uh, down in Florida. Cause I wanted, you know, wanted to use that time to uh, to spend with family to uh, get uh, get a little bit of relaxation if that's possible. Again, I'm bad at relaxing. I don't really know how. I don't really know. Uh, I don't know how to, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to enjoy the beach. I know, I enjoy the beach. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I do have a hard time turning my brain off, turning my desire to go places and see things off and uh, just, just relax, just take in natural beauty, the ocean. So hopefully I'll be able to do that again. I'm planning on uh, taking a little bit of time away from the camera while we are in Florida so we can enjoy some time uh, some time with family but uh, I do appreciate you guys coming along with us for the journey um, so thank you uh, I do uh, I do travel the country I film roadside attractions amusement parks museums haunted houses and other fun stuff and I appreciate you guys coming along with me for the ride of course, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can consider uh, donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. I'm uh, Etsy pin, the, the pins in the Etsy shop, there'll be new pins are on their way. They're coming in the upcoming months. There will be some new pins there, I promise. Uh, right now, while both me and Jen are away, I'm putting the shop on vacation mode, so I'll be kicking that back on when... Uh, when we head back up, uh, back up, up north. So uh, if, you're, if you're wanting to order pins, it may, it, the shop is going to be shut down, shut down for a little while. But as soon as I'm back in the area, when we can start mailing out pins again, that way, uh, we didn't have to, to, uh, bring a mobile pin mailing system down with us to, to Florida while we're trying, uh, trying to relax. And of course I, I'm still doing the cameos. Uh, I've been, I've, I think I've done over a hundred cameos now. It's been really fun. Um, doing, 
birthday messages, anniversary messages, just fun messages for funsies. Um, if you like, maybe you have a few questions for me, you can do a cameo. I'll happily send answers to those questions to you in video form. If, you know, of course, you know, keep things appropriate. Don't, uh, don't uh, ask anything inappropriate or ask me to do anything uh, weird or uncomfortable. You can ask me to do things. You can, you can ask me whatever you want. I may say no, but uh, yeah, I've been having fun with the cameos. And of course, all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.